welcome back to my channel. In today's episode I'm making a quick and easy pad thai and these are the ingredients you are going to need to make this. Two three tablespoons of soy sauce, half a packet of extra fine beans, half a packet of baby corn, half a packet of rice noodles, 300 out of the 400 bean sprout, or just use them all like I'm going to do, and one leek. This isn't, this isn't a wok. So this is what I'm calling my wok. And then to speed it up a bit, I've already started boiling my water for the noodles. So, to begin with, I'm going to prepare my vegetables. I'm going to put a little bit of oil, like two to three drops of oil, into this pan. I'm simply just going to fry up everything that goes in it. So I'm going to get my chopping board. I've got this little chopping board here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to chop everything that goes in it. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to, basically I'm going to use half, half the corn. So I've got my thing of corn and I'm going to use four out of eight. So I'm quickly going to just quickly go and put the other four four here into into the fridge. And I'm gonna just chop them in I'm just gonna chop them in half. Actually I might chop them in three and just simply toss them into the pan. Very tossing in the pan. I'm going to get my fine green but I'm going to get about half of them. Simply just going to cut the tops off. And then cut them all in half. Once they've cut in half, I'm just going to toss them all in. The um, rice noodles are a bit like the pasta. You boil the water first, but the rice noodles take longer than the pasta. You put the rice noodles in about five minutes, like the pasta, and then you just leave it to um, soak for further three after. So I'll just put the eggs in the bin. And I'm now gonna put the rest of my extra fine green beans into the fridge. And I'm now gonna get one leaf and just chop it like you would normally chop it. Take the end off. I'm going to cut down. Then I've got like little circles like this. Now this leek is pretty big. Pretty big leek. So there's going to be quite a lot, but the recipe, I'm not actually following the recipe, the recipe I used so I knew how much stuff I needed for like certain amount of portions. He said you the whole meat, and this is only serving two people, so I might as well use the whole. And you want this, you want the circles to be fairly thin. You want thin. Either. So I'm simply going to toss, I need to make that, put the water on high to boil and then you can turn it down later. And I'm going to put my other leaf into the fridge. And 
now I'm going to add all my bean sprouts. Actually, no, I might need half. But I don't know when I'm next going to use them. Don't know if, whether they're going to make any purpose for them, but I'm sure I can find a purpose. So I've still got like four days, I think, to look out again. So it looks quite a lot in that pan right now. But we're just going to fry it up. So I've got my. Prawns are still pretty. The prawns are be frosted in cold water, so they should. should they're just like little baby prawns. They should be ready to go in by the time we fry. So you don't have to worry about heating the oil up. Well, if you don't, haven't heated the oil, it doesn't matter because you just go fry it all up together. So I'm going to put my chicken ball to one side. And now I'm just going to get a spoon and toss, and toss the vegetables around. Toss, toss the vegetables around. And you're simply going to just toss you're just going to toss them around for about five minutes I would say it literally takes no time at all and you just add and all you do is add the noodles to this and you're done so it shouldn't take too long all that's basically gone in this is a bit of baby corn, some bean sprouts, leek, and some extra fine green beans. The bean sprouts are like the bulk of it. So, you, don't you could just use a whole packet if you really wanted, but bean sprouts, as you can tell, it's dominated by bean sprouts. So, you probably don't need a whole packet, but... But in the shop, that's the only size. That's the only packet they had. So, did have like it didn't have like two hundred or four hundred. Now I might have gone for two hundred. It was literally just four hundred. Make sure you've got. I wouldn't say loads of oil, but I would say plenty, enough oil to cover it. Because I might need to add a bit more. I'm not sure. Just waiting on my prawns to defrost. They're getting there. They have been out a good hour and I have drained them in, and they are currently sitting in cold water so in a few minutes once this has started to heat up and start cooking I'm going to get them and add them in so in the meantime you open your noodles up and I'm using rice noodles so they're like basically white noodles You've got like this one's like portions. You've got like one. You've got four portions. Four of these like circle things. And I'm gonna add one to my pan. You can't see the pan. You can't see the pan because it's like right in front down here. It normally goes normally you have one pan at the back there, two pans here. But because that's a big walk and it should normally go in the middle. You can't fit two pans on there, so there's only actually one pan on here. I've actually definitely put the end of my leek in, I'll just take that out. Because I just chucked everything onto the, I literally pushed everything from the board into the pan, and obviously into like the wok style thing, and obviously got the end was on there. It does, it does shrink down. So although the bean sprouts and everything look quite a lot to begin with. It does shrink.
I might add a few mushrooms in this, but I'm not even sure. But it does shrink, so it will be about half the size when it's finished. And it does say two portions this will make. I know how to make a pad I need to get the quantity, but that's why the recipe. So, I would say it's probably more than two portions, but that's what the recipe said, so. So, what I've done now is I've added the prawns to the um, mix, and I've also added some carrot, carrot batons into the mix as well. And I've put the rest of the noodles into the cupboard, and it is actually coming along quite nicely. And it is shrinking to about half the size. So I'm just going to mix. where we can add the soy sauce. So I'm just going to drain my rice noodle. Pot. We can add them very soon. And I'm going to cover them with cold water. used one out of the four little circle dishes of the um, of the packet. You just basically cook it for about 10 minutes till all the vegetables are cooked. Whack a bit of soy sauce on, whack the noodles in and you're basically done. It's a very quick and easy pad thai. So I've got everything in there, green beans, sweet corn, leek, bean sprouts, carrot batons, I use about a quarter of a packet and then a small packet of frozen peat, a small packet of frozen prawn. So I need to make sure I add the noodles in before. add the soy sauce into it. So that is getting to the point where it is cooked. I think the carrot batons might be still hard. They are but I can just leave it on for another few minutes. So I'm going to add in my noodles like that. I'm going to stir it all around and mix noodles in. And then in about a minute's time, maybe, maybe maybe two minutes, I am going to need to separate this rice right noodle. where it's pretty much cooked I am going to add two tablespoons two like massive drops so one which I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a spoon actually so this is a tablespoon I'm just going to I already put a bit in so I'll just fill this spoon so that's that spoon full I might add like a half little spoon and then I'm going to put the rest of the soy sauce into, a cup, into my cupboard. I'm praying there isn't any order in here. I didn't actually check before. 
So now I put the soy sauce in. I'm going to give it another quick mix and we are ready to go. How quick and easy was this pad time? Nice, quick and easy pad time. And I'm not that hungry, so I'm only going to put a little bit on a plate and then box up the rest and put it in the fridge. I'll maybe leave it in the pan, I'm not sure. So, I'm going to get a sm smaller plate, put a little bit on and try it for you. Let me turn that off. I'm going to spoon a bit on. So I'm going to give you a close-up of what it looks like. So that's the actual pad thai itself. And that's my little portion that I'm going to be trying for you right now. And I'll have the rest probably either later on today or tomorrow so now I need to get a fork and try it for you so much stuff I don't know if I've already got a fork so I'll just get a clean one so I'm going to try a bit of the sweet corn to begin with very nice so now I'm gonna try a bit of noodles and bean sprouts and mm. very nice I'm just gonna put you there for one second because I know what I've got to go with this I've actually got There was salt, there's like this like pad thai section where they're both different things, so like stir fried pad thai, and these were on the side. And I wasn't 100% if they go, but they're in the same section, so I thought they will go. They're in the same section, they must be to go together. So I'm going to try one of these as well. I'm not going to rate that, I'm just going to rate the pad thai itself. I'm going to give the pad thai 7 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is how to make a quick and easy pad thai. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe below. I'll see you next time with another video. Goodbye.